Ooh, it's a big game this week. West Ham play Manchester United and hopefully and thankfully the pressure's off. We are safe as far as I'm concerned. Villa have got to play Arsenal, but I can't see them getting anything more than a draw there, which would confirm us in the league. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It's the first game this season other than the first half where I felt that the pressure's been off, where we've got a chance to express ourselves and, and show sort of the, the form that we've picked up over the last four to five games. Um, you think United were a very poor showing last night. I think they struggled against the Chelsea team that were able to pin them back uh, using the fullbacks, and, and potentially that's something that we could use to exploit against Man United. Man United very much like to to camp in the in the in our half, and they like to keep the ball, and they like to um, sort of keep that pressure on continually until someone makes a mistake or an error. But what Chelsea proved um, last night was. Yes, that, that's one element of it where you've got to sit back quite deep and defend. But the other element of it is to try and break on the counter and break with pace. And obviously we've got Antonio and Bowen to do that. So I think there's a game plan for beating Manchester United. I don't think it's straightforward because I think United will want to come back and they'll want to perform. Obviously, um, I think Martial, Fernandez, Rashford, those three in particular um, are frightening in terms of their ability, in terms of their goal scoring and assists, and they are they're very clinical. Um, and I think potentially our midfield may struggle to to contain them if they if they're on basically if they're on song. But I think you've got to try and get them um, in a way where you're pressing them in the right areas and pressing them from the front, and then you allow them to have that ball in midfield where they've shown that they can't really hurt you. United thrive off a team that's built, was willing to push and we saw against Crystal Palace the minute Palace started to push back a little bit uh, and, and try and nick a goal then all of a sudden the space is open and that's when they've got Martial and Rashford to hurt you and I think particularly with our fullbacks, it's going to be really really tricky to, to mark people like Martial and Rashford out of the game I think what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer does well and I don't believe he does that much well but what he has understood is the interchangeability between Rashford and Martial from the wings into the forward position. And I think that's going to cause West Ham some issues if we're not concentrating and focused for the full 90 minutes. I don't know what the situation is with Ryan Fredericks. Um, I think whilst he's not a very good defender, I think at least his attributes in terms of pace will be able to deal with somebody like Marcus Rashford, where he dealt with him quite well um, earlier in the season. I think... I think it's going to be a tough game from that perspective. But United won't put balls in the box. They won't um, hit from from the wings. They'll cut in from the wings and look to create chances um, in the middle and have people like Bruno Fernandes who's picking it up and popping a pass and trying to thread it through. So I think the game plan is very, very simple for West Ham and that's to be compact, to be tight and then to hit them on the counter-attack with pace when we've got the opportunities. I look at Manchester United's back to Lindelof and Maguire. I think... Lindelof is a little bit calmer and a little bit better in possession than, than Maguire. I think Maguire is, at this point, massively overrated. I think, yes, he's very good aerially. Yes, he's very good at bringing the ball out um, and passing forward. But I think what we saw yesterday was when the pressure's on, he can be really dumbfounded. And I think that's something we need to exploit and look at. Um, I would like to see, potentially, um, maybe a layer play up against him because what Giroud showed yesterday was by backing into him and causing him issues and occupying him in that respect that you, t you take him out of the game and Maguire is very um, he's not very tactically astute so by taking him out of the game you're, you're preventing him from really um, y using his strengths and I think West Ham can, can sort of deal with that and, and sort of prey on it a little bit and, and put him into positions that he doesn't like um, and he's shown that consistently that he's struggled in those teams where they will play the ball in behind and they will sort of try and pull him apart and put him in different places. So that's how we can beat Manchester United. The glaring, and I mean the real glaring problem with Manchester United is obviously David De Gea. Now, De Gea really was nothing short of shocking um, yesterday. The, the shots against him, the Mason Mount one was basically straight down his throat. And he still manages to, to spill it into the corner. It, West Ham must be encouraged in this instance to put balls in the box um, and, to, and to put pressure on the back four, but equally just to have a shot at David De Gea. 
you know, there's no harm in, in having a 20 yard drive from him because at the moment he's shown that he's vulnerable. He, it, whether or not he's a good keeper, it, it doesn't really matter what you think, but he's particularly at this stage, he's not in good form. He's struggling for confidence. We need to prey on that uh, and, and really work towards just taking a punt. And I think West Ham, albeit we have done very well and we've been very, very clinical, we don't take enough shots on goal, and that's my issue with it. And I think don't give David De Gea too much chance to, to set himself. Take the odd chance off, off the cusp, literally a volley from Antonio. We've seen against Newcastle and we've seen against Norwich that, that flick on Antonio in the box where no one's picked him up. He can get that goal and he can make it very, very difficult. Let's, let's do that kind of thing. Let's put them under pressure. Let's, let's make Manchester United work for it. Um, we, there's pressures off us. We know we've, we, we've secured Premier League safety. You know, we're looking forward to next season. We've got good players back. I'd like to maybe even rest someone like Antonio um, in terms of you know he's, he's worked very very hard. I think he offers obviously a lot, um, and that pace is you know crucial to the way we play at the moment. But why not why not you know give him a break or a half time bring on Alaire and try and switch it up and see you know who who deserves a chance for next season because at the moment we're in that shot window where I want to see who wants to play for the shirt next season. So I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to watching a game finally where I don't feel like. The world's kind of, kind of caving in, um, and we need the points. Let's just enjoy it. Hopefully, we'll win. I mean, stranger things have happened. Um, yeah, so come on, you irons.